17 of the best virtual photography this side of Stanton. If you aren't coming here for your Star Citizen eye candy, well, I guess you wouldn't be watching this. So props to you all, you know where it's at. If you want to be in the B and be where it's at and know the B and do the thing, join us on Discord and get to chatting, playing, and submitting. We don't just do Star Citizen, but you can bet you'll get all the Star Citizen you need right here. Now that I'm done with all that nonsense, weekly announcements. Coming at the end of this week, I will have a video out announcing my first official giveaway. It will be simple and easy to enter with a full month to build up your chance of winning. More info coming on that this Saturday. With all that being said, or rather just that one thing being said, let's hop into the deep end. First picture this week comes from the Space Coder, Arrows in Formation, a phenomenal sight, and not necessarily an easy one to get. And if there's no sunset in the picture, did it really ever happen? Next up is Flax83, spotting the Carrick against a beautiful atmospheric gradient over Aberdeen. I'll recognize that atmospheric effect no matter what. That's Aberdeen and the best photographers have their certified Aberdeen shot at the ready. Kung Lee dropping the wide shot of a snub fighter, and golly gee willikers does this ship look fast. Great framing here and well, do I even need to mention the sunset? And another shot from Kung Lee. I like the sense of location you get with this shot as well as a sense of scale with small, medium, large, and really large objects in the frame. Check it out, remember how I mentioned the rare exterior ship shot with a glimpse at the interior was very welcoming and almost comfy? Phoenix Lacour took that to heart and absolutely nailed the style of the shot. The atmospheric lighting and ship lighting are both exceptional here as well. Red Water has captured a shot this week of the lonely stranded soldier. This picture gives a sense of, well, hopelessness and heat. It looks hot. Good Punk captures the beautiful landscape of Microtech once again, capturing the transition between two of the planet's biomes in one ground level shot. It takes some time to find an environment like this and Good Punk made the most of it. Burrs provides a portrait featuring one of the better looking helmets in the game, in my opinion. The background provides a nice contrast, especially with the small lights littered about back there. Captain Raoul flexes those landing skills and captures the carrot coming down to rest. The lighting against the kicked up dust gives this a really cinematic feel, and the structure in the background provides a good sense of location. It's a well framed shot. Another properly framed shot from the captain gives a nice frontside view of one of the most commonly lauded ships in the game. The background has great contrast, but the main focus is the bulky and busy face of the ship, and this photo really emphasizes that. Finally, featuring the same ship, Raoul gives yet another view from the top, showing the rather good looking design of the ship as a whole. And this shot could be straight out of a movie with the clarity and just amazing detail of the ship. Wowzers, I say. This portrait from Eber Citizen is really interesting. Honestly, it's mainly the background that catches my eye here and it's my signature color so you know I love it, but the depth of field here and the focus on the player are still really impressive. This wide shot from ATC Forgiven gives a unique perspective of this space station. It has a real good sci-fi feel to it. I feel like I'm in 2001 right now. New 
newcomer this week, Neftis, catches what looks like a rescue mission with unique angle coming from the back of the ship and a player getting ready to EVA to safety. Ultra wide Ermdahl drops a promotional shot of the RSI Mantis in his latest shot. Wait, did, this didn't come from CIG? Oh, uh jeez, -huh. well, it is such a good angle. Such great framing and just an incredible display of the ship all around. Another shot of the same ship from Ermdahl shows the interior and how angular the design of the ship is inside and out. Great framing and use of lighting all topped off by the planet in the distance in the background. A fantastic interior shot. Finally, Ermdahl turns his sight towards the portraits. This great, cool photo of what looks like a combat-ready explorer makes me think of Prometheus. And the highlights for me are the composure, the lighting, and the incredible clarity of the player model. Another formation photo this week from Red Solstice, this time shows a squadron of gladius, gladii, gladiuses, ready to descend into the atmosphere of Yella. You know your eyes were immediately drawn to those red running lights. That's a good eye to capture those in a relatively muted shot. Next from Red Solstice is an action shot catching a few ships chasing down this vanguard. Combat shots are so few and far between, it's nice to see some action. Newcomer Chef Rob cringes at the cold outside as he captures that postcard shot for all the suckers still caught up on Hurston. Jules takes a great gradient dominated shot at the cyberpunk Grimhex, showing off the great interaction of light and armor. Fantastic tones in this one. Mr. Hasgaha gets real close up this week, highlighting the details of not just the character's eyes, but also the armor protecting them. There's just so much going on at such a precise level, it seriously is an impressive design. From there, Hasgaha decides to go about as macro as you can get, capturing an incredibly distant shot of Selen and Crusader, using the focal length to manipulate the scale for a much more epic shot. Great technique. Next we have Calm Jazz, staring out into the starry night after a cruise in the cyclone. Character positioning is top notch here, and the background gives an awesome vibe of openness and wonder. To wrap things up, Calm Jazz gives us a look at Damar with a blue sky backing up the beautiful Mantis on an exploration trip. The composition of this shot is great, and I find it to be a very peaceful and inviting shot with tons of clarity. A great way to finish the week up. With 17 weeks in our back pocket and more photographers joining every single week we move forward, competition is getting fierce and the fight to get featured is raising the bar. Keep up the good work and keep submitting your best shots to be featured on this weekly show. And remember, the theme for next week is action shots. So if you got firefights, dogfights, or mining missions gone bad, make sure to submit those before Wednesday of this week to see them featured next Sunday. If you just come here for the eye candy, comment down below and let us know what your favorite shot of the week is and share this amongst the Star Citizen community. Let's show newcomers and veterans alike how beautiful this game can really be. Finally, make sure to hop on over to Twitch and catch up with me so you can see what some of these photography sessions look like in the wild. Trust me, the behind the scenes might surprise you. And with all that, I'll see you all next week. And of course, a big thanks to my top supporters, the Alpaca, TK, and Patrick Burt.